Lots of Americans make fun of our vice president for getting the facts wrong on really, really, really important stuff. She just got topped by her own husband, who's Jewish, who doesn't even know the story of Hanukkah and got it all wrong. Claire Lopez, I was very excited some years ago when we got a first gentleman that was Jewish. I I, I had high hopes that he would bring a certain awareness to the White House and through the presidency of Joe Biden, maybe open some doors and create some sort of common uh, agreements and awareness of the Jewish faith. And I, I was disabused uh, of that notion the other day when the first gentleman came out with an idiotic explanation of Hanukkah. I want to quote it so I don't get it wrong. He said, quote, the story of Hanukkah and the story of Jewish people has always been one of hope and resilience. So far, great. The next line, he goes off a cliff. I mean, literally. In the Hanukkah story, the Jewish people were forced into hiding. No one thought they would survive or that the few drops of oil they had would last. But they survived, and the oil kept burning. And during those eight days in hiding, they recited their prayers and continued their traditions. That's why Hanukkah means dedication. That's completely made up. That has nothing to do with Jews, Jewish history, the Romans, nothing. The story is completely made up. And and I've seen all these comments on Twitter and on Facebook. Why didn't he just Google Hanukkah? Or if he doesn't have a Jewish education, isn't there somebody he could have asked? The Jews weren't in hiding. Hanukkah is the celebration of the Jews defeating the Assyrians and rededicating the temple on the Temple Mount. And the oil that they had stored in the temple was enough for one day but miraculously, it burned for eight days. Hanukkah is a celebration of a Jewish victory over a brutal dictator. They weren't hiding. What the heck is he talking about? You know, I was as surprised as you, Barry. I really expected that for a first gentleman, he, he would have been better informed or at least had access to those who might have, you know, given him a couple of uh, bullet points before he went on air with that. Uh, I'll give you one source right now that's a very good one to look up uh, if you want to know more about uh, the uh, the Jewish celebration of Hanukkah, and that is called the Ettinger uh, Report. A uh, former ambassador, Yoram Ettinger, puts out a, a series of these uh, guides for the perplexed to the different Jewish holidays of the of the year. Hanukkah is one of them, and of course, he explains in it the most recent one how the the uh, the Hasmonean era family of the Maccabees um, stood against the Seleucid uh, Greeks, the Hellenistic practices that were immoral by the moral standards of of the Jewish people, and uh, they went to battle. And uh, this time they won. Having won that battle, they returned, as you said, Barry, to the temple on the Temple Mount, found only a bit of oil, enough for a day to burn but it burned for eight days altogether, enough time for them to press more olives and make more oil to keep it going after that, which is why to this day, during the celebration of Hanukkah, Jewish people put menorahs in their windows. Uh, a menorah is a candle holder, one tall one in the middle and four on each side, a total of eight of the ones on the side candles, and one is lit every single night to celebrate uh, the miracle uh, of the eight days of the oil burning uh, after uh, rededication and purification of the temple. Claire, I'm sure you know this. In Hebrew, rabbi means teacher. That was a great lesson, Rabbi Claire. Thank and you. I'm, I'm not Jewish, that. but uh, <laughs> I, I, I certainly um, appreciate the celebration, the proper celebration of, of Hanukkah and the lessons that it has for all of us, really, in standing up to oppressors, to tyranny, and to immorality. Well, And and I would also thank you for mentioning my friend, um, Ambassador Yoram Ettinger. I've yeah. been in his home 
I've had a wonderful lunch prepared by his wonderful wife. Uh, we've done a number of shows together. He's a brilliant man and a great representative of the state of Israel. And, Absolutely. And we both like the guy a lot. And if Yoram gives you an education on Judaism, you can take it to the bank. 